Hi everyone, this is Erica from Highland Hickory Designs and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the stitch pattern for the water's edge kimono. Uh, to save time, we're going to make a simple swatch instead of an entire panel. Uh, I started with 22 chains, which is a multiple of six plus four. For row one, you're going to double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook now this entire row is made up of double crochets the entire way across. So you're going to double crochet in every chain to the end. Okay, and there is row one. For row two, we're going to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, the entire way across. So you're going to chain four, which counts as your double crochet, chain one. You're going to skip the stitch that the chain four comes out of, skip the next stitch, and work your double crochet into this third stitch, and then chain one. Skip this stitch, and in the second stitch, you're going to double crochet, chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet, chain one, and repeat the entire way across. Now in this last chain four turning chain, you're going to skip one stitch and then double crochet in this last stitch or in the top of the ch turning chain. And that is row two. So for row three, we're going to chain three and this row is also just double crochets the entire way across. This chain three counts as your first double crochet and you're going to work your second double crochet into this chain one space and your next double crochet in the top of the double crochet from the previous row and then continue across working in the chain one space and in the top of the double crochet and you will have the same number of double crochets in every row of double crochets When you get to the last couple of stitches and there's four chains here the turning chain from the previous row you're going to double crochet one time in the chain four space and then it you're going to double crochet in the third chain of the turning chain and that's the end of row three so row four we're going to start our flowers you chain one and turn your work. In this first space here that the chain one comes out of, you're going to single crochet. Now chain three. Now this cluster stitch is worked into the side of this single crochet. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the side of the single crochet, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, draw through two loops, and you're going to repeat it one more time. Yarn over, insert into the side of the single crochet, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, and pull through two loops, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now we're going to skip two stitches and work a double crochet into the third stitch. And there's your first petal. For the next petal, we're going to chain four and we're going to work our next petal into this very first chain right here. So complete your cluster. And now you have two petals. So skip two stitches and in your next stitch you're going to single crochet. And here's where we begin the repeat. Chain three, 
complete your cluster in the side of this single crochet. Skip two stitches and work a double crochet. What we're ultimately doing is single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, the whole entire way across. So on top of your double crochet, you're going to chain four and complete your cluster in the first chain. Skip two stitches and in your third stitch, you're going to single crochet, chain three, complete your cluster. Skip two stitches, double crochet, chain four, complete your cluster in the side or in the chain one. So in, when you get to the end of the row, you're going to skip two stitches and what you're left with is the chain three turning chain. So you're going to work your single crochet into the top of this chain three turning chain. And there you have it. This is row four. For row five, we're going to chain eight. And if you need to, you can stop and go back and look at another section again if you're not sure about that row. Um, after you chain eight, turn your work. And we're going to work our first cluster into the fifth chain from the hook. So count down five chains, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to complete the cluster. So you look like you have a petal hanging out in space out here. Next, we're going to single crochet in the top of this double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to re repeat the pattern. Chain three, complete your cluster in the side of the single crochet, but this is where it's different. We're going to chain four immediately off of this petal. You're going to complete the cluster in the first chain and now it looks like you have two petals that are connected. And what we're going to do is we're going to skip this petal, skip this petal, and we're going to single crochet in the top of this double crochet. See how our petals are starting to form flowers. So now we're with the single crochet. We're going to chain three. Complete your cluster in the side of the single crochet. Chain four immediately. Complete your cluster in the first chain. Now we're going to skip two petals and single crochet in the top of this double crochet. So when we get to the end of the row, after a single crochet, you chain three and complete your cluster. And now we have this tall space right here that we need to fix. So we're going to work a triple crochet. So we're yarning over, yarn over twice. And in this single crochet right here from the previous row, we're going to work the triple crochet. And that is row five. And now we're going to start row six. So chain one, turn your work, single crochet in the same stitch that the chain one comes out of, and then you're going to chain two. And now we're going to be working in between these petals to link them together. 
So after you're chaining two, you're going to double crochet in the space between the two petals. Chain two. In between these two petals, we're going to single crochet. So we're going to alternate double crochet, single crochet, double, single, double. So chain two, double crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two. And when you get to the end of the row, we're going to work into this stitch right here that your first petal was worked into. It's the, from the chain eight, it's the fifth one from here. So you're just going to work a single crochet into this space. And that's it for row six. For row seven, chain three, turn your work. And in these chain two spaces, we're going to work double crochets. We're, going to, we're starting over with this row here. And we're going to work double crochets the whole way across the top. So in this, we're going to skip the stitch that the chain three comes out of. And in this chain two space, we're going to work two double crochets. In the top of this double crochet, we'll work another double crochet. Chain two space, two double crochets. Top of the single crochet, we'll do another double crochet. And the whole way across. Two, one, two, one. top of this last single crochet we're going to do another double crochet and there you have it to repeat the pattern you're just going to repeat rows two through row seven all the way to the top I hope you like this tutorial please like the video and if you'd like to subscribe there'll be more videos coming soon uh, thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoy the water's edge kimono